Hey, what's up, social media family? Hope everybody's having a super, super good day. Man, I got to tell you some stuff that I've been just picking up in the place of prayer. I was recently in a just a, a consecrated time that I was really set apart for the Lord and just really praying. And the Lord started speaking to me about something that never really heard people really talk about. But as the Lord was really speaking to me about it, I really did a deep dive into this study and the Lord started bringing some revelation to me. So I want to give you the prophetic side, then break down scriptures and then kind of talk about it a little bit. But I was praying and, and the Lord started speaking to me about listening and hearing. Okay, listening and hearing. And I just kept praying about listening and hearing. And the Lord highlighted a few people that over the years um, have been in our ministry. And I remember that this one person, uh, th this guy, he always talked about these videos that he was watching and podcasts he was listening to. And he listened to a lot of good preachers, good apostles and prophets. He listened to them. And he would tell me these revelations that these, these people were talking about. And I would glean from them and I would apply a lot of them. And they would actually benefit and push my life forward. And over time, I remember looking at this guy one time. And, and I said, man, you, you're always listening to this stuff. But nothing ever changes in your life. figured it out by the Holy Spirit. He was listening to them, but he wasn't hearing them, okay? Now, hearing is not the final result. James 1, but be a doer of the word and not a hearer only deceiving yourself. Listening is the first step, not the final step. Hearing is is the second step, but not the final step. Doing is the third step, okay? You make the choice, the conscious choice to, to listen to something, but then your spirit man and your soul has to hear what you're listening to. It comes in your ears, but it sinks into your heart and your mind. That's hearing and then you make the decision to act and to do according to the words that you've heard, okay? Now, I remember I had another young man in my ministry. He was a little different. He read all the time. I mean, all the time. He's one of those read a new book every seven to 10 days, all the time. And he would tell me what, what he would read. And I remember one time I was at lunch, I said, man, I love talking to you because you were regurgitating all this information. Okay. Okay. Talking about lunch and regurgitation is probably not a good analogy, but you know what I mean? And then over time I noticed he was always reading, but he wasn't picking up what the author was saying. And one day I was talking to him, it's about this amazing book that I have read. And he was telling me what the author, he was about what, what, the, what was in the book. And I'm thinking, that, that's, not what the, that's not what he meant. That's not what the author meant. He'd tell me something else. That's not what the author meant. <laughs> exactly. He was reading it, but it wasn't, he wasn't applying it to his life. He wasn't hearing. He would read, but he couldn't quite hear and so when it says be a doer of the word, a lot of times people even read the Bible, but they don't hear what the author was actually saying. The ultimate author being the Holy Spirit speaking. Therefore, they're not a doer. And the Bible says they are deceiving their self. Deceiving their self. I was talking to someone recently and they were telling me just all, you know, all this stuff. And I, I knew the person who they were watching the videos and reading books from people. And I'm like, yeah, I know them. Like I, I personally know them. And I'm thinking that's not what they meant. That's not what they meant. They were taking it at face value, but they weren't hearing what they were saying. 
They weren't hearing, okay? And so you, you got to understand that you have to be more than a listener. You have to, do you hear what I'm saying? And hey, are you listening to me? Yes, okay, but are you hearing me? Two different things, okay? Let's move on. I could get bogged down in that all day because I love talking about that. And so this is what I do. People say, oh, they, we have visitors at our church all the time. They say, oh, Apostle Jojo, I loved your message today. I said, okay, what was your favorite thing? And they would say something. Okay, great. What do you, how are you going to apply it to your life? You know, nine out of 10 people seem confused. And I say, but the Bible says, be a doer of the word. If I spoke a prophetic word, I lined it up with the written word of God, you should be able to apply it to your life. We got some people in our church that they'll come back to me and say, hey, um, you know, recently we're doing this right here because three months ago you said this. And then also we are doing this in our life because two months ago and, and on that third Sunday you said this. And I'm like, are y'all a computer or something? You are listening. And then like, like when Miss Autumn spoke, uh, you know, she said this. And so we applied this to our life. And I'm just like, you're like super church members. <laughs> like you're what the world needs. People who come to the house of the Lord receives and then applies it to their life. All right, let's move on. Ten, uh, John 10, 27. My own sheep will hear my voice and I will know each one and they will follow me. The only way to truly follow Christ, if you can hear the words being spoken prophetically and written in the word. So many people are quote unquote Christians, but they're not following Jesus. They're, they're listening, but they're not hearing. They're not hearing. Romans 10, 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk about prophetic word and the written word of God, the Bible. Okay, faith. You want faith? Faith comes from hearing. What? The prophetic word and reading the written word and stewarding and carrying out that word, it changes you. You gain faith when you activate the written word of God Put it on a prophetic word that God has given you and then you see the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Everything changes. I'm talking about going from listening to hearing to doing, okay? Jeremiah 33, three, call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you don't even know anything about. Listen, when we call God, his word said, he always answers. But when God calls us to do something, do we answer the call or do we just listen to what he's saying? Are you hearing what the Holy Ghost is saying to you today? I live in America. I live in Texas. You can look at our great nation and you can tell that a lot of people are not hearing the word of God. I see a lot of churches act there, out there acting crazy. They're not hearing the written word of God. They have denied and rebuked the prophetic word of God. Okay, there's consequences. But you are about to see men and women of God in churches that are just not listening but they are hearing the word of God and they are doers. So my friends, I hope this helped you today. I want you to know I love you guys so much and I speak life and blessing over you. And remember, if you need prayer for anything, you go to our website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button, hit that button. There's a place for prayer. Send me a prayer request and I would be honored to pray for you. Also in the links below, we got information about all of our books, about our mentoring program, and everything that we have. And I also want to thank all of our financial partners. We appreciate y'all. Hope everybody has a super blessed day.